hey you guys it's Sierra Sheree and today I wanted to do a video on strobing I know you guys have heard of this trend and I want to show you how I do it so strobing is pretty much how you get that glowy dewy look and it's good for the daytime and it's also good if you want to pop and stand out at nighttime if you're in the club or if you're in the lounge so let me show you how I get this look Starting off with my makeup already done, you can do your makeup however you please if you want to do a lighter, softer look or a more dark, edgy, vampy look. So, to get the glow, all you need is four products. Yes, four products. One is a highlighter. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown highlighter. I love this highlighter. Ever since I saw it, I swatched it, I fell in love with it because it just gives that perfect glow. And I like it because it's not too glowy from the front, but when the light hits it from certain angles, it's the perfect, perfect highlight. The second thing that you're gonna need is a fan brush. I got this fan brush from a hair store and it was about $3. And you use it to put the highlighter on your cheekbones, your nose, forehead but I'm going to discuss all those parts in a second the third thing that you're going to need is a smaller brush I'm using a little brush like this it's called the detail shader it's from bare minerals and it's really good for getting in those smaller areas that you want to highlight and the fourth thing that you'll need is a setting spray so I have two setting sprays right here the first one is by e.l.f. It's $3 and it's really good because it has good ingredients like green tea, cucumber, and vitamins such as A, C, and E. The only thing is it smells kind of funny. Now this one is the NYX Setting Spray. It's going to run you about $7, $8-ish and it's really good. I love this one. This one is more of my favorite, so that's the one that I'm going to use today. When strobing, it's six key areas of the face that you want to highlight, and that includes in between the brows, the arches of the eyebrows, the cheekbones, down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bone, and last but not least, your chin. And these are the six areas that are most appealing when the light hits it and reflects the highlight the best. All right, so finally, let's get started. So taking that fan brush, I'm gonna dip that into the highlighter. And like I said, you can use any highlighter that you like. I just love the Bobbi Brown one. And you're gonna take it and you're just gonna dust it on your cheekbone, just like I did. So you can dust more if you want your highlight to be more pow in your face or if you want it to be more subtle then you could just dust it less. Yes, highlight on fleek. Flizzy. Okay, so now I'm dusting my nose. I love dusting my nose because that's a feature that a lot of people compliment me on and they say like I have a cute little button nose so I like to draw attention to that. I also dust in between my brows very very lightly because I don't want to look too much like a disco ball but I just want to add a little light to that area. Also I dust on the cupid's bow and I like dusting on the cupid's bow because it just makes that area look more defined and draws more attention to the lips. And then I dust a little bit on my chin and I just feel like it just it's, it's just giving me life. But I'm just going to dust a little bit more on that cheek because I need the fleekness to be at a higher intensity than it is right now. So I'm dusting more. And usually I really wouldn't do this much, but I feel like to really get the effect, sometimes you got to go a little bit more with the highlighter. And that's what I like about this highlighter because even when I pile it on in the daytime, it doesn't look like 
crazy like oh my gosh she got on so much highlighter it's very subtle and you don't see it until you turn your head and that light hits it okay yeah i think that's enough highlighter okay so next i'm going to take this little brush which is the detail shader and I'm gonna put this highlighter in the arches of my eyebrow. So I'm just lightly dusting that, not a lot at all, because since you're viewing that from the front of the face, I didn't want that to be too much. Just when you turn the head to the side, you should see it pop a little bit. And I'm blending that out with my finger. This is a tricky and lastly I'm going to take my NYX dewy setting spray and I'm going to spray that on my face they also have a matte version of this product but I prefer the dewy because I just feel like it gives you more of a glow and it just makes that highlight pop even more but why was I acting like that spray was torturing me just now so that's it that is how I get the glow, how I get my highlight on fleek. Pretty much the basics of strobing one-on-one. -on -one. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. A nice glowy look that you can wear in the day or even at night. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be updated whenever I post a new video. Also, make sure you check out my website, sierrasheree.com, and be on the lookout because I got plenty more videos to come. So until next time, deuces.